Hello guys, um, welcome to uh, SQL Server Integration Services SSIS with quick and tick, uh, quick and easy tick. Today we're gonna talk. We're gonna we're gonna talk about how to load single Excel file with multiple sheets to SQL Server table. Single Excel file with multiple sheet. So here I have an Excel sheet, Excel file called Customers, and I have four different columns: ID, first name, last name, and state. And I have a different sheets. I have three sheets. I have Asia, I have US, and I have Europe. I want to load this single Excel file with multiple sheets to SQL Server table. Remember, you have to have a database in SQL Server and then you have to have a table. Let's start create a database. Create database. Let's call it SSIS test. All right. We create database now if you're gonna re refresh it we have a database test now let's create a test let's create a table for this database okay here we go let's create a table we're gonna call it dbo customer Customers. In, uh, in Excel file, how many columns we have? We have four columns. So we're going to create table. We're going to have column ID, first name, last name, and state. So let's go back to SQL Server and then we're going to have ID, which is the data type will be integer. Then we're gonna have a first name. The first we're gonna have the data type var car, which is non unicode. We're gonna have a hundred length will be a hundred character, and then we're gonna have last name. Another var car, a hundred also, and then I'm gonna have a state. It's gonna be only two letter, which is gonna be only a character, which is only two, and then close parenthesis, close bracket. Let's execute it. Now we have a new table. Let's refresh it. We have table customer table let's just select it let's remove this select all from dbo customer see that customer customers let's execute it we have id first name last name and state let's go back to okay now in Visual Studio, we have to create a new package. If you already have a solution, it's okay. Let's create a new package. And then the new package, we're just going to call it load single Excel file with multiple sheet. Okay, now what well, all I have to do every time you want to load data to a SQL Server, you need to have a data flow task. And since we are loading multiple sheets, we have to loop through the first sheet, second sheet, and the third sheet. So we have to we have to bring for each loop container and drag and drop the data flow task inside the for each loop container so now we have to configure the for each loop container double click on it and then collection for each file enumerator we have to change it to for each adion.net schema raw set enumerator click on it and then the connection we have to create a new connection create a new connection 
we don't have a new connection we don't have a connection existing connection we have to create a new connection provider click on the provider we have to go dot net provider for all edb double click on it we have to choose the second one microsoft office 12.0 access database engine all edb provider click on it okay now we have to change we have to provide the file path plus the file name and the extension i have the file already let's just close the file i have the file here is the file path you have to copy the entire file path click on it right here and then you have to ha you have to add backslash and the name of the file and the extension copy it file and extension paste we done we have to go to all we have to set the extended properties scroll up to advance extended properties since we have excel the version is 12.0 and then semicolon now we need to know the the header do we have a first row and do we have a column header and a first row we're gonna find that go back to the file and see do you have it yes so the first row will be a column header yes we have it okay so now go back to visual studio and equal to yes we have first row is a header semicolon this connection text connection succeeded okay click ok click ok now since we are choose we are getting the data from the sheets the sheets name which is this is a table second one is a table and this is a table consider as a table let's go back to visual studio and then for the schema click on the schema we don't find we cannot find something called a sheets name here or sheets so that means it's, it's it's a table click on the table and what is the sequence number if you're gonna go to set restrictions the schema it's it's three so which is zero one three you don't have to do anything here zero one three which is the name of the table which is the name of the table we got three tables cancel go to variable mapping and then you have to create a new mapping we're gonna call it a sheet name because this loop will loop this loop for each loop will loop through all the sheets all the table you got three tables we call it a sheet name it's gonna be string click on it and then the index we said the index is going to be three zero one three so we're going to loop through three i mean two zero one two why zero one two because this is a zero not one zero one two okay click okay now Let's let's just run this back and see what's gonna happen. Okay, there's nothing's gonna happen because we don't load no data yet. Everything is good. We don't have the data, so what we have to do? Click on the data flow task. Double click on it, and then you have to go to the source adio.net source. Double click on it. We have the connection already. We, we set the connection already. Double click on name of the table. We have to collect the sheet name. It doesn't matter if you want to click the US or Asia, Europe or Asia. It doesn't matter. You have to go to mapping. Everything is fine. Click on it. Now we have to go to the destination. Since we have SQL Server database, which is going to be all EDB destination drag and drop and then just connect the precedent constraint click on it double click on it we have to set the destination destination this is a destination table we don't have a destination here new just remove this we have a new connection now 
what is the server name what do you have to do you got two options you can go to connect engine copy the server name or you can select it select a server name Here is the server name copy the server name or the instance go to visual stereo paste it see that the dar the database will come up we have two different databases but we saved it in sql ssis test that's the database click ok okay now since we have one database and one table only one table we don't have multiple t table just one table select the tables customers we have only one table go to the table go to mapping we have to map the source columns with the destination columns we have to map we have id come from the excel go to the id to sql server first name first name look that's different in excel we have f name in database we named it first name no problem last name last name and then state now we're gonna have a problem with the data type click on it look what's good if you if you're gonna have over uh, the only db the stage it says column first name and first name cannot convert between unicode and non-unicode because if you're gonna click on destination go on mapping this is this is the columns come from the excel file this is the columns comes from the destination from sql server hover over the id and what it says it says float that's a float for the id destination it integer we we have it integer first name unicode first name and destination string which is non unicode unicode and non unicode so what we have to do right now we have to do data conversion you have to bring the data conversion you have to connect it with the precedent constraint and then connect it again to the destination go to the data conversion select all of them okay so this is only the columns come from the excel we have to convert it to the destination and remember in destination we have four columns right but the data type integer first name varkar which is string nine unicode varkar nine unicode and nine unicode also for the state and for the length you have hundred hundred and two go back to the video stereo change it to the integer here is the integer four by sign integer now unicode string go change it to nine unicode here you go string this is nine unicode unicode to nine unicode string you know unicode to nine unicode if you're gonna click we're gonna have another problem with the with the length of the file why look okay let's go to destination because since we converted the data we have a new names now we don't have the original it's going to be converted to the copy first name last name first name last name and id and state so we have to remap again the destination to the new converted mapping okay we have we have to change it to copy first name copy last name first name no hold on a second copy of last uh, first name copy first name and copy of the state now everything is fine look if you hover over it this is integer that's integer copy of last name and first name First name and last name. Okay, so now how about it? String. You got string. We have match. The data type has been matched. Everything is fine. Now we have a truncation because of the length. We have 
integer we have hundred first name hundred last name and two for the character and now yeah 25 25 25 so just click just edit it if you want hundred hundred character and then two character that's it we good to go right now okay so now if we're gonna we're gonna okay let's go to SQL server and see the file is okay we, we don't have a data we don't have rows in a table go back to the visual studio let's just run this back and see what's gonna happen the package has been running has been run and everything is fine and executed let's go back and select it look we loop three times why three times because we have one files I said we have one file one file but we have three sheets so the the package runs through three times with the same sheet it runs was the let's go back to age it three times so age it three times so keep looping three times one time three time second time and three time but we need to loop it through one time each sheet one time here one time us and one time here so what we have to do let's just clean the table let's just truncate the table okay we don't have a table we don't have data anymore so what we have to do right now right click on data flow task and then go to properties and then on the right window let's go back look it's gonna look it's it's run it's executed and run loop through three times with only agent go to the expression click on the expression and then you have to okay right click on the drop down menu and then choose adio.net source table or view name go to expression and then click on this thing double click and then drag and drop the sheet name this is a variable comes from the for each loop you remember we saved the file on uh, sheets name in the variable drag and drop okay okay and then what we're gonna do just set the delay validation to true now if you're gonna run the package look what's gonna happen run the package everything's fine succeeded stop it and then go back to the table select the table look age we got three columns with we got three rows Europe and the US so we loaded and we loaded and looped through all the files thank you very much